Chris Lundy with the Sawtooth Avalanche Center and I'm on Copper Mountain taking a look at an avalanche that was triggered yesterday and uh, it was remotely triggered by some skiers uh, digging a snow pit um, up above the slope uh, even a little bit past these trees and um, while they were digging on a lower angled slope they looked down and saw this avalanche running so um, they impacted the weak layer when they were digging their snow pit the fracture propagated down slope and released here when the slope angle got to be what looks like about 37 degrees. The aspect here is southwest. Uh, elevation is just under 8,600 feet. I'm guessing it probably ran on uh, some weak faceted snow near the ground. Here it looks to be about three feet deep. And it broke about 200 feet wide. Uh, light here isn't very good, but I'll try to zoom in. Might be able to see it broke uh, kind of clear over to those trees uh, by that snag there. So this thing was big enough that if you <coughs> were to have gone for a ride in this, this thing ran about a thousand vertical feet down into a gully. Uh, probably would have been an unsurvivable avalanche.